Hi guys, welcome again to Derive. So, andito tayo ngayon sa item number two for the topic of pressure. Still uh, on the subject of thermodynamics. So, I will read the question first. Ang sabi, a weatherman carried an aneroid barometer from the ground floor to his office atop the Sears Tower in Chicago. So, that was the Sears Tower in Chicago, a sample picture. Sabi, on the ground level daw, the barometer reads... 30.15 inches mercury, absolute. And top side, it read 28.607 inches mercury, absolute. So assuming that the average atmospheric air density was 0.075 pounds per cubic feet, find the height of the building in feet. So possible kaya na given the two pressures for the ground and the top and the air density, makukuha natin yung height ng building. So malalaman natin. Okay. So dito natin lalagay yung solution natin. So kunyari andito yung building, kunyari lang. Kunyari ayan yung building. So ang sabi, ang weatherman may dalang aneroid barometer from the ground floor to his atop the Sears Tower in Chicago. On the ground level, ang sabi, let this point or the ground level be point 1. Point 1. Teka, pangit yung bilog natin. Tsaka yung linya natin. Ayan. Buray na rin natin. Ay, nakalabura na lahat. Arte kasi sa linya. <laughs> so, ayan, yan na nga. So, that was point one. So, ang sabi, ang reading daw dyan, pressure absolute is equal to 30.15. Inches Hg or inches mercury. And sabi sa tuktok daw, sabi natin point 2 ito, ang reading daw is 28.607 inches of mercury. So uh, this is the reading for, from the ground level at ito naman yung reading sa taas. Ang sabi, assuming daw that the average atmospheric air density was 0 0.075 pounds per cubic feet. So uh, let me write that the density is 0 0.075 pounds per cubic feet. Oops, wait lang. Find the height of the building. So this is the height. So this should be the height. So let this become H. Okay, so how are we going to solve for the height of the building? So we all know, you know, way back in our thermodynamics lesson, we all know that the pressure is equivalent to the product of a specific weight times the height. So ibig sabihin, basta may pressure na given and specific weight, we can find the height. So how about given na two pressure? And syempre, we all know that kung meron tayong change in pressure, since involve ang dalawang pressure, of course, matik yan, may change in pressure kasi galing ka sa ground level and uh, dun sa, uh, sa tuktok or sa taas, syempre, there's a change in pressure. So, of course, in a differential calculus, syempre, dito yung na-derive, uh, dun yung na-derive. Kung may change in pressure, of course, meron din tayong change in height. Okay, so sabihin natin the change in pressure. So in order for this to become positive, so mas malaki si pressure 1, so that will become P1 minus P2 is equal to specific, specific weight times H2 minus H1. Pero nagkataon that this point 1 is ground level, so we may say that this H1 is 0. So ibig sabihin, we are looking for the wool height of the building. So pwede natin sabihin H2 is equal to H na lang later. So meron tayong dalawang given na pressure here. Ang problema, bago natin makuha si height, kailangan muna natin makuha yung specific weight or specific weight ng ano kaya to, ng air. So kaya may given ditong atmospheric air density because we all know no, that uh, this specific weight is equal to density times gravity. Okay, so kapag usapang metric, pwede nating 
i multiply si density times gravity in order for us to acquire the specific weight. Pero kapag English unit, so ang specific gravity natin, pwede mong kunin si density na recta. Kung baga nakamultiply na si gravity dyan. Bakit ka mo? So malalaman natin mamaya sa unit analysis. Okay, so ayan. So P1 minus P2, so that will become 30 minus... So that was 30 minus... Uh, 30.15 minus 28.607 inches HD. No, and the answer or the question is looking for building in feet. And we all know that nasa mga unit ng pressure basta involve ang feet, pwede nating sabihin na ang unit nasa PSI. No, kasi PSI is 1 pounds per inches squared. So, pwede naman nating convert si inches papuntang feet. So, ibig sabihin, pwede natin siyang i-convert muna into PSI. And we all know that in every one atmospheric pressure, there is 29.92 inches of mercury and that is also equivalent to 14.7 PSI. So I will replace the PSI, a PSI here, PSI, so the PSI here into pounds per e square inch because one PSI is equal to one pounds per square inch. So that was square inch. Ayan. So, ibig sabihin, cancel na si mercury inches dito. So, pounds per square inch is equal to specific gravity of 0 0.075 pounds per cubic feet times the height. So, ibig sabihin, cancel na si pounds. Pounds, ang natitira na lang is cubic feet and square inch. So in order for us na may matirang feet dito, kasi nandito na tayo sa cubic feet, uh, we may say that uh, in every 100 or in every 1 square foot, there is 12 squared or 144 square inch. So ang ibig sabihin, ang square inch will be cancelled here. Ibig sabihin, Ang matitira, cancel yung dalawang, cube, uh, dalawang feet. Kasi ito ay cubic, ito ay dalawa. So cancel na, cancel. May matitirang feet. So ibig sabihin, it will be transformed from the uh, upside. So ang matitirang unit na lang for H is feet, which is ang inahanap ng question. So pasok na lang lahat sa calculator. So the answer is in feet. So that was 30.15 minus 28.607 divided by 29.92 times 14.7 times 144 divided by 0 0.075. Okay, so the answer is in feet. So the answer is 1,455.54 feet. Okay, so ganun palang kataas yung Sears Tower in Chicago. So that was 1455.54 feet. So mas marami pa rin mas matas na building of course because this 1455.54 feet is just only equivalent to uh, 443.7 meters. But, uh, but it's still high, you know? Pero that was not the highest building of course. Pero one of the highest. Not. No. Okay. So that is the answer. 1455.54 that we're looking so ayun, kita kits tayo sa next video for the question number three. Still under pa rin ng pressure na topic for the subject of thermodynamics. See you guys and thank you. God bless.